The Rig is a well-known horror story on the internet. It started appearing in the early 20s on the website 4chan. People shared their experiences of encountering a strange creature in the woods through anonymous posts and accounts. These stories talk about a humanoid creature called the Rake, with pale skin, long limbs, and big scary eyes. Even if you haven't heard of this before, you might have seen a picture of it. In this image, you can see a creature hiding in the bottom right corner of a photo taken in the forest at night. The image of the rake with glowing white eyes and a long skinny body has haunted many who have seen it. People were convinced it was a real photo taken by a trail cam but it was actually part of a marketing campaign for a video game Resistance 3 released on September 6, 2011. In the game Resistance 3, players come across a creature called the Grim that looks similar to the rake. The Grim's spooky appearance with its pale and skinny body captured attention of online fans. This led to people using the Grim's image as the visual representation of the rake, a popular creepypasta character, which is a common practice in creepypasta community. The tale of the ray became popular on the different websites. Writers and artists added their own ideas to the creature's story, making it more interesting. The connection of the rake with an image from Residence 3 helped it become well known in the online horror community. Although the photo made many people online feel scared, it's interesting to see how it actually brought more attention to creepypastas. It's likely that without the rake's image, becoming so popular, creepypastas wouldn't be as well known as they are now. The image of a smile dog has been around for over a decade and it's often associated with 4chan's X board. It's a well-known image among those who explore creepypastas and creepy content online. The earliest creepypasta related to the smile dog that Arnold client could find dates back to 2010. The legend of Smile JPG is indeed unsettling, as it suggests that those who see the image will feel compelled to share it with others to avoid a visit from a demonic creature or bad spirit represented by the dog in the image. The legend warns that failure to share the image could result in torment and even death at the hands of this entity. It is a chilling little tale that has left many individuals disturbed. It seems that some individuals who claim to have seen this smile JPG often joke that they were too busy to download a copy of the image onto their computer. This could be a way for them to cover the unsettling nature of the legend surrounding the image. It is interesting how humor can sometimes be used as a defense mechanism in the face of fear or discomfort. The image described Known as Smile JPG features a human hand extending from its shadows on the left side of the picture with a dog-like creature resembling a Siberian husky in appearance. While the origins of this image remain mysterious, these are three photographs associated with it, with limited information available for two of them. Reddit users have shared insights into the similarities between the image and the husky picture, suggesting possible connections. The background of the image, including the red curtain, has been identified by users, indicating potential manipulation of the original photo. Despite these details, the creator of the image and the full context behind its creation remain unknown. It is a fascinating mystery that may unreveal with further investigation in the future. It is truly unsettling to hear about the image you described where the wheel of character Mickey Mouse is portrayed in a distressing and eerie manner. The contrast between the usual charm and the playfulness associated with Mickey Mouse and the unsettling setting of an old basement with the frightening Mickey Mouse consume is quite jarring. It's important to remember that this portrayal is likely a creative interpretation of artistic expression and not reflective of the character's true essence. Mickey Mouse has indeed left a lasting impact on popular culture and it's unfortunate to see such a stark deviation from his usual cheerful image. If this image has caused any discomfort, it's understandable and it's always good to prioritize your well-being and avoid content that may be distressing. The combination of a squished mask on a man dressed as Mickey Mouse aligned with an unsettling setting and the presence of a gun in a similar photo does indeed 
create a very unsettling and potentially distressing scenario. It's important to remember that these images may not reflect the true essence of the beloved character Mickey Mouse and are likely part of a creative and artistic interpretation. If these images have caused any discomfort, it's completely understandable and it's always a good idea to prioritize your well-being and avoid content that may be distressing. If you need any support further in instance, please don't hesitate to reach out. It's interesting to learn that our selling image of the man dressed as Mickey Mouse in an old basement with a squish mask and a gun pointed at him was actually a convincing photoshop version of the original image. It is not uncommon for such manipulated images to circulate online causing confusion and speculation about their origins and meaning. It is understandable that there may not be much information available about the backstory of the true source of the image. It is good to see that people are engaging in discussions and sharing their theories about what might be going on in the picture. Platforms like Reddit can be helpful in crowdsourcing information and opinions to unravel such mysteries. If you are curious to learn more about the image or its origins, engaging in these online discussions could provide some insights. Another Reddit user responded to the post by saying that the photo is probably just a spooky image created using scary stories and internet jokes, like many other eerie photos. It is likely that someone found a Mickey Mouse costume and thought it would be a fun to take a picture wearing it in a creepy location to make a spooky photo. A Reddit user named Search and Rescue Woods shared a story on August 25, 2015 about mysterious staircases popping up in the woods. The question remains, is this true or just a hoax? Many blogs and online communities, including Granite, have spread the tale, turning it into somewhat of an online legend. The original post reads, now I don't know if it is true in every SAR unit, but in mine it's sort of an unspoken regular thing we run into. You can try asking about it with other SAR officers, but even if they know what they are talking about, they probably won't say anything about it. We've been told not to talk about it by our superiors. At this point, we all have gotten so used to it that it doesn't even seem weird anymore. On just about every case where we are really far off in wilderness, I'm talking about 30 or 40 miles, at some point we'll find a staircase in the middle of woods. It's as if someone took the staircase from their house, cut them out, and placed them in the forest. When I first saw them and asked about it, another officer told me not to worry, and it was a normal thing. Everyone I asked had the same response. I was curious to explore them, but I was strongly advised never to go near any of them. Now I just ignore them when I cross them because it happens so often. It is worth nothing that it was just a creation from a scary internet story. Two months before the initial story, a WLOS News 13 Films explored the same concept. Now, let's delve into the true origins of this photo. It was actually a large art project by a man named Bruce Allen, who built it in 1988. Allen stayed in the structure and was captivated by the size, energy and presence of the trees. He spent several days exploring the area, both on and off the path, observing the surroundings and thinking how his own ideas could interrogate with the environment. I carried with me the understanding that forests and jungles worldwide are being depleted and exploited for timber cleared for agriculture. Despite the past exploration for mining iron ore and coal, cutting down trees for timber, shipbuilding and caracol production, there is unique intimacy in the forest that is unlike any other place I have experienced. Bruce Allen created the observatory based on the earliest astronomical observations in India. It is simple artwork featuring a staircase that leads to nowhere, patent black to stand out against the vibrant forest. The sculpture was located near a protected pond in an area surrounded by trees and a dense plantation. Visitors could stop and admire the woodland from an observation platform at the top of the staircase, with a small alcove under the stairs. Originally just an innocent art project, it was later used by online users as the face of creepypasta. The sculpture has since been decommissioned and there is no remaining trace of it in the real world today.